Welcome back to the Mortgage and Marketing Update. I'm Brian DeMarie. I'm a loan originator with Union Home Mortgage and the DeMarie Lending Team. So we're going to talk about some measures of inflation today. We get CPI, Consumer Price Index. Uh, the Fed does favor PCE, the personal consumption expenditure, uh, but many real estate economists like CPI better because it focuses more on things like rent, real estate, or like, you know, uh, housing expenses and medical expenses. Uh, so many people think that it's a better reading of what the actual inflation is versus PCE, henceforth. 1.7% year over year, headline number. Uh, so that number does include oil and energy prices. However, when we look at the core number, which strips out food and energy prices, we get a, a 0.1% increase in February and a 1.3% year over year. So as these are pretty tame numbers, where is all of these inflation fears really coming from? A lot of talk about this in the market right now. Where are they coming from? It's because last year in March, April, and May, we know that that was the beginning of COVID. The economy really slowed down. We had negative inflation on a couple of those months. And when we get these readings back, if they're positive plus two, positive plus four for the next couple of months, it's gonna really look like we've got like 2.4 or 2.5% inflation for, the, for a year over year number. This scares people when it comes to mortgage bonds. That's why it's so relevant to us in the real estate world. And when we see these inflations go up, we inflation go up, we know that that's going to erode the buying power of those bonds that have a limited return. Uh, so people are going to basically have to increase the interest rates to compensate for this this less of less return that the bonds would yield at that point. Let's talk about marketing. So this is the way ads used to look, even up to about a year or two ago. So now. It was a simple photo of the home, photo of the agent, corporate logo, not that complicated, right? Things have changed and there are a lot of companies that didn't exist even 12 to 18 months ago that are throwing an onslaught of ads at buyers that have notified Facebook and Instagram that they are shopping for a home. This is a little bit of what we're all up against. So companies that will renovate the home, get it all fixed up for them and then sell it and then take a cut or however they work that deal out with them. There's flat fee listings that just, you know, they'll just take 1%. They'll even just take a fee if the house ever sells. FISBO listings where they can just list the house on their own, bypassing the realtor altogether, knowing Zillow will do all of the heavy lifting for them. Pay only if it sells type of ads. Other companies that are basically like wholesalers, offering them cash money. You guys know a lot about what this is with Open Door. Uh, even Zillow is doing this. And then builders are running ads as well continuously. And uh, it's not like they've ever closed the deal and never paid a realtor before, right? Yeah, because that's never happened in the history of builders, right? Uh, and then don't forget about these big boys here as well. So the punchline is, is that we can make ads using a simple software like Canva and some other ones that can compete with these types of ads. Why would anybody use these services? Why would anybody sell their house to a, a, a wholesaler when the days on the market nationally are 20 days? Why would anybody use this service? It's because they don't know that. They don't know that days on the market are only 20 days. And even though a wholesaler will close in two weeks, that they'll just close, you can close, you have it under contract in three weeks, close in another three to four weeks. All they'd have to do is wait another couple of weeks and they can have full price instead of all of the discounts that a wholesaler will take or all of the fees that Open Door and Zillow buying direct are going to take also. They may not know that. The question is, can you distill that down into one little ad that you can put in front of them, letting them know that they don't need to use all these services? I bet you can. Take my class for Canva, Facebook ads. It happens every Thursday, virtually. We talk about lots of solutions to all of these things that have that the buyer has coming at them. Question is, what is your unique offering? And for most realtors, as just operating as a single agent, instead of having this gigantic company behind them, what are they? What should you be offering? There's one fundamental truth that everybody is looking to be understood. You're a friend more than a realtor. Oftentimes we're problem solvers also, but people have this fundamental thing where they want to be understood. They want their story to be heard. And do they get that when they get this little, thank you for calling open door switchboard? Do they get that when they actually are talking to a person over the phone? Of course not. And of course, all these classes are free. 
I teach you these because I want to be your number one resource in mortgages. And I know there's nobody else, no other mortgage person out there that's going to sit and teach you guys how to run online marketing like this. So this is one of our big value adds that Lily and I bring. Like I always say, if you are not working with Lily and I, you are settling for less than you deserve. Ooh, sorry, drank a little caffeine today. Getting a little excited. I love all this online marketing though. It's kind of my personal passion project here. Uh, so class will be today, 10 o'clock, today meaning Thursday for you guys. Uh, so feel free to join me there. All of our videos are backed up on Zoom. If you want to try and get caught up on some of those online marketing classes, they're there in Canva and Facebook ads basics classes. Uh, you can always call me, email me. I'm happy to talk about that at any point if you run into trouble. Check me out on Instagram. Talk to you tomorrow.